Bet My Heart by Maroon 5. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. This song is a lot of bar chords, so if you're a beginner, beware of that. It's not going to be an easy song for you to learn. And we're going to learn the chord progression that is played throughout the entire song. So we have a few chords to learn here. I'm going to teach you how to play the chords first, so if you already know how to play these chords, you can skip ahead in the video. We have a C-sharp minor, an E, we have a G-sharp minor, and we have a B major. So we're going to start on our C-sharp minor. So you bar the 4th fret with your index finger from the 5th string down. Your middle finger is on the 5th fret of the B, ring fingers on the 6th fret of the D, pinkies on the 6th fret of the G. Okay, so to play our E chord, you can either play your open E chord, or you can play the bar chord. If you're playing the bar chord, you're going to bar the 7th fret with your index finger, 5th string down, and your ring finger is going to bar the 9th fret, 4th string down, and it mutes this last string. Or you can just play those 4 strings, or you can play the open E chord, where your index is on the 1st fret of the G string, middle finger is on the 2nd fret of the a, ring fingers on the second fret of the D. So those are two ways you can play your E chord. Next we're going to learn our G sharp minor. You can either play it on the fourth fret with your index finger barring all four strings, or all six strings. Uh, your ring finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the A, pinky right under on the sixth fret of the um, D string. Or you can play it all the way up here, and that is the eleventh fret you're barring. 5th string down, middle fingers on the 12th fret of the B, ring fingers on the 13th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 13th fret of the G, or you can play over here. So there are two ways to play that. And then you have your B major chord. So your B major chord, you're going to bar the 2nd fret, 5th string down, ring fingers going to bar the 4th fret, 4th string down and mute that last string, or you can just play those 4 strings. And those are the chords you need to know. So now we're going to learn the progression and the picking pattern itself. So we're going to start on our C-sharp minor, and we're going to pick the A, G, and the B strings. And then we're going to continue picking those B and the G strings with our index and middle finger on our right hand. that once. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go to a E major chord. Do the same picking pattern. And from your E major chord, you can either go down to your fourth fret for your G minor, or you can go all the way up here to the 11th fret. And then finally, we finish out with our B major chord. So it's C sharp minor, E major, to your um, G sharp minor, down to your B major. And the alternate way of playing that is C sharp minor to your open E chord. 4th fret, G sharp minor, to your B major. So you can play your E and your G sharp minor however you'd like, but you're pretty much stuck with the C sharp minor and the B major. There's other ways to play them, of course, but um, these are the ones closest to the frets that you want to be on. Since it's such a long shift from G sharp minor to B, I would recommend playing your C sharp minor to your E, then play that G sharp minor on the 4th fret, because then it's less um, distance to travel for your left hand there to the B major. Okay, so I'm going to play through this one more time for you here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. That chord progression is played throughout the entire song. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have other questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.